of the search for a running mate for the Azmio La Umoja one Kenya presidential candidate. The, the panel established uh, to assist and advise the Honorable Raila Molo Odinga on the most suitable candidates for appointment as his running mate in the general election to be conducted on the 9th August uh, 2022. Wishes to inform the public that it has dispatched its final recommendation uh, to the candidate this morning. This follows the inability of the candidate to disengage from the political exercise he is involved in uh, to come to us today to receive uh, the report. The recommendations are contained in a report that lays out the criteria and modalities that were used by the members to evaluate uh, the, the applicants. Uh, the criteria centered on constitutional qualifications, understanding of government, personality of the candidates, political acumen, compatibility, and loyalty, including strategic significance and the fight against corruption, among others. The candidates had also to give the panel their understanding of the key challenges facing Kenya and their proposals on what should be done or what should be the Azimio government's priorities upon taking office. Emphasis was laid on electability, capacity of vote, uh, from trans uh, transformative leadership dependability, political tolerance, and technical exp expertise in political campaigns. The panel has uh, recommended three names which have been submitted in order of priority. All the members of the panel participated in the exercise and evaluated uh, each and every candidate. The final decision was reached by averaging the individual contribution of each pa uh, panelist. The members wish to express their gratitude to the media, to the assistance and cooperation the cooperation that uh, you have extended to the panel and members of the public for their patience. God bless Raila Odinga. God bless Kenya. Members of the media, that is the statement and each one of you will have a copy. Uh, and I, once again, I thank you for staying this late to receive this statement. The names? The names? Yeah, the three names. The names, uh, we're giving uh, the opportunity to the party leader to say the names. <laughs> the same, the same. But we'll, you we'll leave the, our, party, uh, our party candidate to give the names. So is it something that probably he has given a timeline with which he's going to give the names? And why not you, since you are the people who are doing this? Actually, uh, actually, the truth of the matter, I've already stated that, uh, you know, there's only a few days remaining. And uh, his uh, engagement in political campaign at the cost uh, is the result of what we are doing today.
we really hoped that he'll be here today. And that's why I told you yesterday that he'll be here. But uh, the, his trip at the course has been extended. He's right there. And uh, I'm sorry he has to, to, to give the names. Where's Senator Wambua? Yeah. Senator Wambua has been with us right through up to yesterday. He's an, you know, he's also a candidate, and he's all, uh, he's out there campaigning. So is he in None agreement? of us are campaigning. <laughs> is he in agreement with the findings of? Every, he has been with us right from the beginning up to the end. Uh, Chairman, the speculation, even if you look at today daily, the speculation is going around, uh, suggesting three names that uh, you allegedly shortlisted by by end of close close of business yesterday. Yeah. And uh, includes Kalonzo, Karua, and Peter Kenneth. Can you deny that those reports? Uh, speculation. You have used the word speculation. Yes. We do, this panel now. does not speculate. <laughs> <laughs> we have not speculated. <laughs> the, the press can say whatever they want to say, but yeah. this is the story today. So basically, you have not been authorized to give us the names. Sorry? You have not been authorized to give us the it's names. It's nothing to do with authorization. It's just to give our candidate the opportunity to name. Chair, thank you.